Welcome back to the program. And yes, the UFC has a busy schedule this weekend, but there's also Cage Warriors action coming at you Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern, and you can catch all of the fights live on Fight Network from Amon Jordan. All of these cards are happening, and none of them are in Las Vegas because Sin City is reserved this weekend, and Priscilla Carapan will tell you why on this week's edition of The Shift. In the twisted new noir streets of Sin City, booze, broads, and bullets only come naturally. Sin City A Dame to Kill For is the second installment for director Robert Rodriguez and writer Frank Miller. Here on The Shift, we take a look at what the stars had to say about their roles. Sin City's where you go in with your eyes open. Or you don't come out at all. You know, the first film was, was much loved and people would come up to Frank and I a lot and say, when's in City 2, when's in City 2? We'd always say, oh, next year, or two years from now. And somehow almost 10 years went by. What have I done? A Dame to Kill For is a story about this damsel in distress named Ava and how she kind of uses men to get what she wants. Ava, she betrayed me. Kill him. This is not reality. This is a heightened and stylized comic almost portrayal uh, of a world that came out of the mind of Frank Miller, you know, a graphic novelist. And as an actor, that really frees you up. Well, Senator, you got any idea what you're up against? You're up against a Rourke. I'm ready for your worst. Boy, you don't even want to dream about my worst. There is an etiquette to Sin City. I feel like when Frank comes in and he describes something on set, you suddenly see how everything's drawn. You see how everyone's behaviors really kind of coincide. Things fit in a certain way. It isn't just all over the place and just, he's thought it out so perfectly. He lived these characters. He told me that that's what he would do. He'd be in his apartment drawing these people, getting up and feeling what these characters were going through. You know, that he'd find himself talking to himself at times, or if there was a depression that the character was going through, and he'd find himself severely depressed and forgetting that he, it was because of what he was doing. So it wasn't that he was manifesting something out of his depression, that the characters came first, and then he would be reacting as if he was the character. That there's a name to kill for. There's a posture to characters in Sin City. They've got such a dignity to them. Everything that they do feels noble to them. They're on their right path. They're being honest and truthfully themselves. I'm gonna kill Rourke. Kill me in. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, like the best actors, teaches a director and a writer a lot. Because of what he brought, I was able to write dialogue I thought was much more focused and much stronger, and much more emotional. You'd be smart to kill me now. This character of Johnny, because he's not in any of the books, has sort of been a collaborative creation. It didn't have as, as much specificity as, as really all the other characters. It's kind of cool to watch the guys work off each other. You know, Frank has this vision in his head that he wants to play out and Robert is capable of, of bringing those visions to life. It's one of the situations where they finish each other's sentences. It's quite fantastic to watch. Never lose control. Never let the monster out. Sin City, a Dame to Kill For comes out this weekend so you don't want to miss out on the action. That's it for The Shift this week. Back over to you, John. Thank you, Priscilla, and yes, the wait is over. Another week has gone by, and that means a new viral video has hit the market, courtesy of Fight News Now, and here is this week's gem. Wow, Sharknado 3 in the works. And that will wrap up this week's edition of Fight News Now. Thank you to our guests, Mark Bocek, Ken Shamrock, Vanderlei Silva, and Rashad Evans. If you want to hear more with Bocek, he will be joining me on the MMA Report this week, along with Kung Lee at FightNetwork.com. Don't miss Cage Warriors 71 this Friday afternoon at 1 Eastern. And for John Ramsey and Robin Black, Priscilla Carapin, and the Fight Network crew, I'm John Pollock, and we'll chat about more next week on Fight News Now. Let's go.